Welcome back to the BZ Bowers channel. This is where we come and talk about tips and tricks on to how to grow on YouTube and Twitch. But today, as you see on the title of the video, I got a different video for you all. I got something that I want to give away free to you all. I made a stinger transition to give away to all the viewers out there just to say thank you, I guess. So in the video, that's why I'll be showing you where to get this stinger transition. So stick to the end of the video and I'll tell you exactly how you can download this transition. What's up, Beezer? What you doing? Well, I'm in here trying to make a video to show all my viewers how they can download this new stinger transition that I have for them. Man, I just don't understand. Like, if you're trying to make this a full-time job, why are you just giving away stuff for free? Don't you supposed to be charging for this stuff? Brian, you got a lot to learn about YouTube, bro. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Get back to whatever. it. Whatever. Let me get to it. All right. And let's get right into the video. Roll the intro. Boom. what's going on this your first time on this channel my name is brian bowers i'm just a content creator slash streamer i'm just starting out just like all y'all so i just wanted to give something to all my viewers all the people uh that viewed my channel and subscribed to my channel most of y'all probably streamers or whatever are trying to become a streamer so i'm just going to give y'all this stinger transition and if y'all like these videos let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up i need to know if y'all like these kind of type of videos and i can make more of these in the future if you like them so just let me know so let's get right into it i'm gonna show y'all what's gonna be in this packet that when you download the file so when you download this file this file is called the clean blackout file so i mean i, I ain't know what else to call it i'll come up with some better names next time you're gonna have one two three four five six seven different stingers that's already rendered that's all you got to do is put them on the stream but if you are brave enough and you want to customize it and put your own logo and personalize this thing how you want it i have the after effects file now you can just click on that after effects file and it's gonna come up with this right here so basically what you want to do if you want to customize it yourself um you're gonna have to you might have to download a couple different things you're gonna have to get the free trial and a free seven day trial of the after effects then you're gonna have to i'm gonna put all this stuff in the descriptions also then you're gonna have to get the free trial of adobe media code encoder that's just so you can render this thing out and also you might have to go into video copilot and download the free saber um plugin you might need all these things to make it work i don't know if you're gonna need the saber but all this stuff is free so you just have to take your time get it done and then once you render it out it's yours to take it so basically right here in this um in the folder just click on click on this after effects after you get the after effects downloaded so <clears throat> Once we get in here, if we want to change the colors of out of your overlays or whatever of, of the panels, you want to be able to see both of them. Just kind of scroll this thing over till you get to a good spot where you can see both of them. You can just you could just double click on it, and then if you want to change i would change the black the, when you change the black it kind of does some weird things but I, once you go to the pink you can change the pink by down pressing the down arrow to open it up then you press the down arrow for the layer style then you press the down arrow for the color overlays so you got your cover color overlay right here then you can change it 
right here. Change it whatever color you want to right here. Let's do, let's do green for right now. Then let's go back. So see, it's green now. So and also we got the sabers. So you have two, you actually have two sabers. You can, if you just want one, you can cut the other one off and just have one. But if you want to change the colors on these sabers also, you have to go in here and drop down on effects, then drop down on sabers. And then you can go right here to the color dropper with the glow color and change it to whatever color you want. Let's do gold right now. So blue and gold. Then you get out of there. So you can change the color to the other one if you want. But I'm not going to do all that right now. Okay. So if you want to add your logo you want to add your logo this is what you have to do um basically double click on this one you can you can turn it on you need just double click on here now what you want to do now is you want to get your your logo imported in after effects so you want to hit import and file and you can just just bring up any any file most likely it's better to be a PNG file because it's gonna look a whole lot better because with the with the transparent background but I'm just gonna use this one for example right now and just scroll down and put it right here right so it's gonna probably look kind of weird because it's kind of big so if your file too big you want to scale it down because this is probably where it's going to be at it. well you kind of put it like around two and that's where it's going to be at its biggest point so that's where you know where you need to scale that so on this one i'm gonna have to scale it down there we go so you can it won't take up the whole screen so, all right, let's cut this one off. So at two, this is where you want to put it at to scale it. So once you got that scaled, um, you want to press on null and null two. So once you put the null two on, that's when you, you the null basically have the animation. So see how it just went down? And then it's gonna pop up that's it so I'm sorry y'all. I was finishing up the video and I totally forgot to tell y'all how to render this thing out because I know a lot of people are gonna be confused on like how to render it out so basically what you do like I said you have to make sure you you I think they're gonna let you download this creative cloud this as a you know um, a trial pair and then when you get this you have to want to make sure you download after effects this media encoder the media encoder is going to help you make it a web and file and that's what you need to put on your streams to make it because they it, the web and file actually use less computing power to to play it on your streams so it's like a smaller file that plays animations with with transparent background what you need to do is you need to come here on the file or well, first you need to make sure the main composition is clicked then you go to file and import then you go to render and queue with uh the media encoder and then media encoder gonna it's gonna open up and what you want to do is you want to make sure it's uh, this first column right here you want to make sure it's web m so you might want to drop down that menu and then select web m file 
then you're gonna it's gonna yours gonna be on custom i got a custom preset in here but basically what you need to do is when you're gonna click on custom right here and it's gonna open up another link and then in here you wanna this is where you wanna file save it to wherever you you need to save it to make sure you save it to somewhere you know where it's gonna be at i know i done that plenty of times just saved it and it's it's lost so basically just save it where you need to save it and then you want to make sure to click export video and audio because it does has audio on there unless you don't want the audio and then you want to go on video <laughs> on your video part you want to make sure this one is clicked the two pass encoding and also include alpha channel now the alpha channel is what makes the transparent background this is what makes the stinger a stinger transition so you need to make sure this one is clicked that's a must and then you go all the way down to um use maximum render quality i always click this one because it just gives it the best quality that that i can get out of it then you just press ok and once you do that it's ready to render out that's all you gotta do is press the press the Q button right here and it's gonna render it out but that's it that's it man it's simple and you you have a just a sick clean uh stinger transition that nobody else gonna have right now so if you like this video let me know in the comments and also hit that thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more of these in the future and if you're not set up to the channel sub to the channel for future uploads on helping you with youtube and twitch thank you see you later bye got that fool watch